Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best macro lenses. Starting at number 5. Sigma 105mm f-2.8 While some photographers are reluctant to use third-party lenses, manufacturers like Sigma and Tamron have been working hard to produce outstanding glass, and recent offerings from both companies have been equal to first-party counterparts in every respect. Sigma's 105mm f-2.8 macro deserves serious consideration from any photographer interested in taking beautiful macro shots, especially those on a budget, as this macro lens offers everything a close-up shooter could need, including stunning image quality, fast autofocus, and good weather resistance. One interesting feature is the manual aperture ring, which lets you smoothly change the aperture by hand. The OS system enables handheld close-up photography, a special low dispersion lens and one high refractive index SLD lens provide excellent correction for all types of aberration and distortion. A floating focusing system moves two different lens groups in the optical path to different positions. Coming at number 4. Sony FE 90mm f-2.8 If you're a Sony photographer in need of a world-class macro lens, then look no further than the 90mm f-2.8 macro, which combines the best of what its Nikon and Canon competitors have to offer. Expect this lens to feature strong, durable construction along with dust and moisture resistance, which can be especially helpful when doing macro photography in rain, snow, and more. Image stabilization can be enabled via a switch on the side, and this lens also has a three-position focus limiter similar to the Canon RF 100mm f-2. One slight limitation is this lens f-22 minimum aperture a euro, even stop down to f-22, depth of field is still extraordinarily thin at high magnifications, but you can always use focus stacking to compensate. At number 3. Canon RF 100mm. Serious macro shooters who want top-notch image sharpness will be more than pleased with the Canon RF 100mm f. Slash 2. 8L. It's designed for RF mount mirrorless cameras and its high price point puts it out of reach for most beginners and hobbyists, but you do get what you pay for. Not only does this lens produce optically stunning images, but it packs some brilliant bonus features that'll impress any macro photographer. There's a three-position focus limiter, which guarantees faster, more reliable autofocus for different shooting scenarios for X magnification with autofocus. Featuring a fixed 100mm focal length, a bright f-2.8 maximum aperture for blurred backgrounds and low light shooting, fast, highly precise AF, and an SA control ring, the RF 100mm f2. Adel Macro is USM lens elevates the look of portraits and macro shots with the option of creating dreamlike or romantic images, with a soft focus look. With strong built-in optical image stabilization and Canon's hybrid IS system, close-up shooting and video are sharp and stable. Number 2 of my list. Nikon AF-S 40mm. This 40mm f-2.8 macro lens has long been revered as one of the best options for Nikon shooters who want to get started with close-up photography. It's small, light, and lets you shoot brilliant photos of tiny subjects without spending a lot of money. In fact, the Nikon 40mm f-2.8 is quite similar to the aforementioned Canon 35mm macro lens, though it does lack both a ring light and image stabilization. While the f-2.8 aperture can't compete with f-1.8 or f-1. For lenses, it still offers pleasing bokeh and out-of-focus backgrounds. The best part about the 40mm f-2.8 is the price, it's by far the cheapest option on this list. So if you're a Nikon shooter and you're on the fence about diving into macro photography, it's tough to go wrong with this lens. And number 1. Canon EFS 35mm. The Canon EFS 35mm f-2.8 is one of my absolute favorite macro lenses because it's simple, inexpensive, and highly effective. 
I highly recommend it for beginners who are looking for a way into macro photography without breaking the bank. The 35mm focal length does require you to get very close to your subject, but after taking Canon's one, no, it's not extremely powerful a euro, but it can easily be the difference between a good shot and a blurry shot, and ITLL cast a nice, even glow over your subjects. The lens also features image stabilization, which is always a nice bonus. While this lens isn't as versatile or sharp as other lenses on this list, it's almost impossible to beat its value for money. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.